It's an old photo, one of the very few of former intelligence chief Chaimist Yusso, a man said to have moved in the shadows. From this building, located next to the presidential palace, Stuso effectively controlled the nation's all-powerful spy agency for decades. Information is power, and for years, President Cristina Kirchner allegedly used and abused what Stuso supplied. The president liked to receive not just the transcripts of illegal wiretaps, but also the tapes to hear people's tone of voice. Kirchner controlled not only her political adversaries, but also her allies, her ministers. Juan Bautista Joffre should know. He's a former secretary of the intelligence agency himself. Joffre describes the still unsolved 1992 bombing of the Jewish cultural center Amnia as the agency's black box. Claudio Lipschitz, a former AMI investigator, says five years ago Stuso ordered his abduction and had the words AMI carved on his back. Lipschitz was responsible for revealing that the spy agency had paid $400,000 for false testimony to derail the original investigation. Today we don't know what line of investigation to follow because an intelligence agency erased or contaminated the evidence to cover its own tracks. In December, the president fired Stuso, and after the suspicious death of Prosecutor Alberto Nisman, she asked Congress to create a new, more accountable intelligence service. Friends and foes of the president agree that the dismantling of the intelligence service was long overdue. The question is, why now? Sources close to the presidential palace say that it's because the president had discovered that the spy agency had turned against her and was leaking damaging information to the media. Fourteen months ago, the president named General Cesar Milani, a seasoned intelligence officer accused of human rights abuses, as head of the armed forces, creating what many regard as a parallel spy service, more loyal to her. Now the president is asking her countrymen to believe that a new federal intelligence agency will be more transparent. Given the history of their espionage services, many Argentines can't be blamed for having doubts. Lucia Newman Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.